If you're in the process of self-publishing your book on Amazon KDP, then you may have come across the fact that you have to upload keywords and categories for your book. Now, I have a tutorial here on YouTube on how to upload your book to Amazon KDP, but I always promised you guys that I would do a video that is an in-depth how-to on coming up with keywords and categories for your book. So that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. And this is specific to Amazon KDP, but some of the keywords we come up with may apply to other print-on-demand companies as well, whereas the categories are going to be specific to Amazon. So be sure to stay tuned as we go through all of this in this YouTube video. My name is Mandy Lynn. I make weekly videos on the business of being an author. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon so you never miss a new upload. This video is a part of my beginner's guide to self-publishing a book series. So if you want to learn more about print on demand companies, formatting your book and doing everything that you're going to need to do in order to publish your book, make sure to check out that playlist here on YouTube. And if there's a topic that hasn't been covered in the playlist yet, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to cover that topic in the future. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I personally do my category and keyword research and I use a tool called Publisher Rocket. I love and adore Publisher Rocket. I'm an affiliate so if you end up liking the software be sure to use my affiliate link in the link down below. There's a couple different ways you can compile all your thoughts as we research stuff. I have my book launch planner. The first page of the planner is know your genre and categories so you can write down the main genre and your subgenres. Then what we're really looking for is the next page which is your Amazon categories. You can have up to 10 categories on Amazon. When you're doing the uploading process they only allow you to pick two. And then you can reach out to customer service and be like, hey, can you add my book to these 10 categories? And they'll add you to the 10 categories. But you need to make sure they're the categories exactly as they're listed on Amazon, which is how Publisher Rocket gives us that information. So you can write your 10 categories here and then you turn the page and then we have a spot to write down book tropes, which is a fun thing to know just for marketing. And then we have a spot for our Amazon keywords and we're allowed seven Amazon keywords. So there's seven spots to write that in. Um, so if you want to write it down physically, you can do so using my book launch planner. The link to purchase my book launch planner will be down below. It's available in hardcover and paperback. Or as I'm going to show you guys today, I just do it digitally, especially with the categories, just because... Uh, the categories are very long and you need to make sure it's written exactly. So let's do category research first. So I have Publisher Rocket opened up right here. Uh, we have Keyword Search, Competition Analyzer, Category Search, AMS Keyword Search. That's for doing Amazon ads and then tutorials. So if you end up getting the Publisher Rocket software, feel free to just click around. Today we're just going to do Category Search and Keyword Search. So let's start off with Categories. So I'm going to click there and it's just going to take a moment to load. And there's a couple different ways you can start searching. You can either like start clicking around in here like if you go under literature in fiction and then click check it out, it'll give you all the subcategories that are within that category. Um but what I personally like to do is I ignore all these buttons. And I just think of, okay, what's the main genre of my book? And mine is coming of age. So I'm just going to type that in. And you can see things have already started popping up. Now, right now, my category search is for everything. But you can see up here we can do for books, for Kindle, or for Audible. Because the categories are different for every single one. And you can see here... These are Audible categories, then we have Books, and then if we keep going, we have Kindle down there. So I'm going to set it for Kindle, just because I wanted to show you how they are specific and, like, different. But so we have a ton of information here, like... This column is saying how many sales we need to make in a day to reach number one in the category, how many sales we need to make to reach number 10, what percentage of books in that genre are large publisher, and what percentage of books in that genre are Kindle Unlimited books. 
And then you can also just click check it out. And when you do that, it actually brings you to that page on Amazon, which is right here. So I'm just going to X out of that because we don't need that right now. But if you're an author that wants to, you know, work really hard at ranking and ranking easily, you're going to want to go for um, a category that doesn't need 2,380 sales to be number one in the category. You might want to go for one that needs only 48 or even better, only 12. But whenever you're doing that, make sure that you still fit the genre. So let's go over to the details because... 12 books to make number one in that category is not a lot of sales. So we'll see it's Kindle Store, Kindle eBooks, but then the next is comics, manga, and graphic novels. So if your book meets those categories, that's great. But if it doesn't, you don't want to add that book to your category. So today I'm kind of doing research as if I'm doing research for my coming of age novel, Meet Me at the Summit. So I'm kind of looking and I'm like, okay, my novel is not a comic or graphic novel, so that's not for me. But I'm going to go to the next one, which is 48 sales, so you hit number one. And that is a Kindle, Kindle, children's ebook, science fiction, fantasy, and scary stories. So I know for a fact my book does not fit any of this, which is a bummer because, again, the number is much lower. However, the next best thing is this category, which is Kindle Store, Kindle eBooks, Literature and Fiction, Classics, Coming of Age. Now, it's really important that you get your book in the correct category because as tempting as it is to just add your book to these categories because it's easier to rank with them, you don't want to do that because, frankly, Amazon KDP will punish you for it if they discover it. They may lock you out of your account. They may suspend your account. You have to be really careful about it. And you have to make sure that the categories you add your book to are the correct categories. And if you feel like you don't know what your book's category is, it's time to look at your blurb. So here's the blurb for Let the Rubble Fall. This is the second book in my Road Trip Snapshot series. It's book two after Meet Me at the Summit. So here's my blurb here that it basically just says what the book is about. I like to fit keywords into my book's description and it's the same keywords that I'm going to be using on Amazon as a keyword and it's the same keywords that I'm kind of kind of going to be searching when I'm looking to add my book to different categories. I kind of made sure that my second to last paragraph was stuffed full of keywords that kind of say what the book is about. So we have sweet romance, outdoors, coming of age, um, and then love story that'll tug at your heartstrings. So this is kind of the stuff that I want to keep in mind when I'm doing my category research. So out of all of these different coming of age subcategories, the only one that I technically fit in is this first one, which is a little unfortunate because we see that we have to make way more sales in order to get to the top 10 or number one. But that's okay, we've got other categories we can search for because again, we can add up to 10. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into this Word doc because you can see here, um, I basically just have a, um, I have a Google doc always going for my books. So this is the blurb for my book. This is the formatted blurb for my book, the one that I copy and paste into KDP where it has all the fancy formatting. These are the keywords, but I'll show you guys how I came up with this info. And then I'm just gonna paste the category. And if I wanted to, to keep track of everything, I can write down how many sales I need to get to 100. That way, as I'm doing research, I can kind of cross compare and then later maybe get rid of the categories that require a ton of sales to get into the number one slot. So let's go back and I'm going to put in Sweet Romance since that was another thing. Nothing's coming up under Sweet Romance, but let me just put in Romance and we can see we have a lot more going on. So basically, there's way more categories, but you can see they're kind of organized. So it goes first by comics, then foreign language, then LGBTQ+. So you can kind of just go and start roaming and see where you fit. One category I see where I may fit is this one where it's young, it's teen and young adult romance, clean and wholesome, and you only need 23 sales to rank number one. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back to my document 
and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to go back to the Publisher Rocket and copy and paste the 23. So I can just remind myself that this category only requires 23 sales. And let's go back because we might be able to grab a few others like the contemporary one. This is another good category that my book fits into. As you can see, it requires way more sales. But I'm still going to write it down because I can always delete this later. We're just doing research and at the end of the day, we'll figure out what the top 10 categories are for our book. But for now, we can just kind of write down anything that we think applies. I'm going to do young adult and this is going to come up with a ton of results, but I kind of want to just put in young adult to kind of get myself brainstorming on what different categories exist to see which ones apply to my book. Okay, here's one that applies to my book, which is teen and young adult literature in fiction, action and adventure and travel because my book has a bunch of different travel elements and I would say it's like a light adventure book. So the best part about this one is that you only need 12 sales to rank number one in that category. So that is perfect. So this is basically what you would do is that you would do all this research, look, look through all these categories, do as much brainstorming as possible, and you know, create a, a working document where you can figure out what categories your book fits into and what it didn't. So in this case, I only had I only researched four categories with you guys, but if I wanted to narrow it down to the two that I personally put in through the back end of KDP, like I said, you can add your book up to 10 if you reach out to the customer service people of KDP, but I can only manually put in two myself. I would want to do, you know, the one that requires 23 sales and the one that requires 12 sales. So in that case, I would go ahead and highlight this and delete and then highlight this and delete, and we have our two categories here. So that's how you're gonna do your research for your categories. Now with that said, it may be beneficial to you when you do your category and later your keyword research to go back to your blurb and figure out you know, different words like romance and action and adventure and travel and figuring out how you might wanna work that into your blurb. That way it really matches up nicely on the back end of KDP and it just makes your book more search engine optimized. With that said, let's go back to Publisher Rocket. We're gonna go to the homepage and we're gonna do keyword research now. So again, as same with the categories, you can set it to be for either Kindle, regular books, or Audible. I'm gonna keep with Kindle because that's what we were doing before, but obviously you're gonna wanna do the research separately for each different format of your book because it has different categories and sometimes different keywords that you might wanna tailor to your book. So just like last time, I'm gonna start with coming of age and we're gonna hit the button and see what happens. So we've got our basic keyword, but then we have kind of a longer term of the different keywords where, you know, this one might be someone who spelled the book incorrectly. So basically what you want to think of keywords as is this may be the words that people are searching on Amazon when they're looking to find a book. So most people it aren't going to do coming of age books, but books is spelled incorrectly but it might still be a common keyword because it's something that gets typed incorrectly all the time. So it might be a keyword that you wanna target. Do I recommend it? Not necessarily, especially if you can find a lot of other better keywords, but it's just something fun to see. So let's go ahead and we see a lot of words coming up, but we don't have the numbers like we did before. So when you see a keyword that you wanna know more about, you kinda of go to the end and goes to the right here and hit this little search and it will take a minute to load and then all this info will come in. So there's a lot of info here. My favorite ones are the average monthly earning and then estimated Amazon search and then the competitive store. These are my favorite pieces of info that I get but some of this other stuff is like competitor stuff like figuring out what page on the search results you'd be 
um, how many competitors you have, the average list price. And this is, again, keeping in mind, this is for ebooks. So most people who search for coming of age books are paying an average of $5. So you don't want to price your ebook over $5. And if you're someone who prices your ebook under $5, this might encourage you to increase your ebook price. But what I really care about is monthly earnings, because at the end of the day, you want to make money. And then average monthly searches, uh, less than 100 people are searching this a month. That's not great, which is why this color is red. And your competitive score is 70 which is also red and if you have your mouse over it you can see that it's labeled as very competitive so let's try getting a little more targeted let's try coming of age romance we're gonna hit that little search button see what happens okay things got a little bit better our monthly earnings went down but the estimated Amazon searches has gone up and the competitive score has also gone up so not great but we are getting better. So you can see here that getting a little more specific makes our average monthly search go up. So let's get even more specific. My book doesn't fit this, but I'm going to do it just to show you guys, which is coming of age fantasy romance. And we're going to see how the numbers change. So again, that might have been a little too specific because now the, the estimated searches are below 100. Our average monthly search in income has gone down, but our competitive score has gone way down as well. And now you can see that it is a low competition with just 20. And this is on a scale of 1 to 100, by the way. So obviously, the closer you are to 100, the more competitive it is. So let's start a new search. Um, and I'm going to do Sweet Romance just to see what comes up and how things are looking. And the best part about this is that even though we started this new search, we still have our old search for coming of age on this tab. So you can go back and cross compare. Um, so I'm going to go to the top one just to see generally how Sweet Romance is. And it has a lot of monthly earnings and it has... Um, not enough searches and it is super, super competitive. We can see that right there. So let's go to, uh, the Kindle Unlimited one. If you plan on having your book on Kindle Unlimited and we can see this has gone up way better. So we, our average monthly earnings is fantastic. The estimated monthly searches is also fantastic. You can see that's in the green now. And our competitive score is 45, so it's moderate. It's competitive, but it's not too bad. So if I were you, I would go ahead and copy and go to our little document and paste it into here. Um, but you can actually see I already have it in there. And then another one I have is Clean Contemporary Romance Kindle Unlimited. So these are my um, keywords that I ended up with at the end of the day after doing all of my research, but this is how I did my research. And another one I have here is Contemporary YA Romance. So I'm gonna just put in um, a new search for YA Romance and we'll be able to see how I came up with that. So YA Romance in general, uh, has a very competitive score. The searches are great and the average monthly earnings are great, but it's just way too competitive. Hence why you got to get a little more specific. Now I'm not seeing contemporary YA romance here specifically, but I am seeing YA romance clean. So I could see what those numbers are just to compare. And it's good. It's not great, but it's, it's okay. So I'm going to now start a new search for contemporary YA romance. And we can see only that one term comes up because I was so specific with it. But I'm going to click the little search icon, see what it comes up with. And we've got a competitive score of 30, an estimated monthly search of 303, and an average monthly earning of $262. So again, not great, but like when you compare it to some of these other options that we have, this is a pretty good option. Now with that said, this information is always changing. Like the rankings on Amazon are changing, what people are searching for is always changing. So you can set this up like one time when you go to publish your book and be done. 
but really the best thing to do is to always be updating your information, to always be going into Publisher Rocket and finding the best categories for your book and finding the best keywords for your book. It's really the way to stay the most relevant, to see what the genre trends are, to see what people are searching. And not only will this help the books that you've already written and published, but this may help the books that you move on to publish because as you're doing this research, and you see like, oh my God, like the Sweet Romance Kindle Limited performs really well, but you're not currently writing in that genre, but it might be a genre that you considered writing in. It might encourage you to be like, okay, my next book is going to be a Sweet Romance on Kindle Unlimited, or the next book I write is going to be a YA romance. Like this type of research that you can do can be super beneficial to your career long term. And it will always be beneficial as long as you stay up to date with it. Because again, trends change, what people are searching change, and what categories on Amazon and are the best fit for your book may also change. So that is my tutorial on using Publisher Rocket to do keywords and categories for your book on Amazon. If you found it beneficial, let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna give Publisher Rocket a try, then again, be sure to use my affiliate link, which is in the description of this video. Otherwise, that is it, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe.